And good morning, Raja Scholars and Champions. Mr. Lawson here on this Monday morning as we start our School Spirit Week. Remember this week we have School Spirit Week for the entire district. All of the ASB directors put this together and today it's DSUSD United wear red, white, and blue with four stars and stripes. There's a dress up, uh, get down, and uh, reach out activity. There's three different things you can do that I shared with you on Friday. I hope you'll participate in those. I'll be putting uh, doing all three of them today. My particular video will be put up later on um, YouTube and Instagram or Instagram and Twitter and then I'll have my photograph on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter later that I to do all three activities. So let's get moving along with today what's happening. First we want to make sure you're still participating in our positivity challenge and today it's an opportunity for you to find our local police or fire department on Twitter or Facebook and tag them in a gratitude post. Let's say thank you to all of our first responders today, starting with our police and fire department. You've probably seen a lot of that on television over this weekend as different programs on television. Some of our um, musician artists across the country did some special concerts. We wanna be sure that we say thank you as Rajas to our local community here in Indio. And this week's, what are they up to? Our first out is the Shatavi family. Miss Shatavi sent this in. And so first we want to say, what are the Shatavis up to? Well, Miss Shatavi today and her son and daughter first are volunteering at the fine, <clears throat> fine food bank, as you can see here on screen, helping to make sure that our families who are without work right now because of the shelter in place and job layoffs to make sure that we're taking care of one another. So they're volunteering their time. Also, they're helping out over at the barn, still feeding happy and honey to make sure that we're taking care of those animals that we still have. Mr. Lopez has been working with them. And so we want to say thank you for that. And they created a brand new Instagram account for their Bernie Doodle, uh, Sammy the Bernie Doodle. You can find that Instagram account at uh, hashtag Bernie Doodle Days, trying to spread some joy to others. Bernie comes along when they come down for meals every day to bark hello. And they've been taking lots of walks, relaxing way too much, as they say. And of course, most of all, she says, we miss our Raja family. Tune in tomorrow to see who our next, what are they up to? Um, also from Mr. Gomez, I wanna make sure everyone sees this particular screen. There is a virtual college fair open to all underclassmen. And you will see on the screen, there are links. Let me move my mug out of the way. You'll see there are some um, Google Classrooms from College and Career Counseling Office for all four grade levels where you can go in and get information. Um, starting today through Thursday, the Strive Virtual College Fair will take place for all juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. There are over 300 colleges and universities throughout the country that are giving webinars for students, including a lot of our California UC and Cal State colleges. They'll be giving webinars on topics like how to find the right college fit, um, essay writing, um, in person, virtual and in-person campus visits, uh, the UC requirements and application, in-state options versus going out of state, all those kinds of things, some great resources and information. Uh, you need to register for each panel that you want to attend. And once you register, you'll get a confirmation email with a unique link that will take you to the Zoom webinar. Visit the URL on this slide that you see at the top that says HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.strivescan.com backslash virtual backslash schedule. Make sure you go to that in your, your Google Classroom and register. And that way you can be a part of this great information. I'll make sure I put this slide up again the next couple days because we don't want you to miss out. Don't forget today, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, we have our grab and go meals. Please remind your parents or grandparents or guardian, whoever's coming to pick up meals on your behalf, that we want them when they get to the end of the line, there's gonna be a cart one and cart two, and I always show them which cart to go to. We ask them to get out of the vehicle and grab their meal off, the, off of the cart so that I can keep my workers filling the bags for the next car and keeping our cafeteria ladies safe with social distancing too. Uh, we've been asked not to hand things through the window or not to push the cart up to the car. We wanna keep it the six feet distance so that your parents are safe and so our cafeteria ladies are safe. So please help us remind everyone. 
And out there at the very end of Rajaway today, we will have the Math 1, Compact Math and Math 2 workbooks. If you didn't pick them up Friday, for those of you still needing to pick up one for your distance learning, we'll have those out there at the very end of the driveway, right before you turn the corner to leave. It'll be on that corner by the pedestrian gate. Don't forget, you can still buy your yearbook. The information I've been sharing each and every day, make sure you go online, go to our webpage, Instagram or Twitter, and you can buy an online uh, purchase of your yearbook. And this week, uh, the cheer team and mascot tryouts are un in full swing. Today, you begin learning the material, and then the tryout videos are due this Friday. So good luck. I wish everyone luck in being a part of our future cheer squad. And seniors, I'll be messaging you separately today with a separate message. You got the notice from the superintendent, and I understand how hard this is right now when we're losing real-time graduations across the entire country. We, Some of you are asking, well, can we postpone it? Well, we don't want to postpone. I'm hoping we can do both, but we will have a virtual graduation because all of your 9th, 10th, 11th grade friends and your families want to celebrate you. Does that mean we won't have something else? No, we just can't do anything until we are given permission from the health department and that's lifted. So this week you're going to get a notice as a, a survey from the superintendent called a thought exchange where you can give your opinions and share what you'd like to see happen. Right now we'll do the virtual graduation on graduation day and we're putting together some exciting plans because we still want it to be special for those of you that, are, that would be graduating that night in person. So we still wanna do that and celebrate those that are leaving to go to the military or off to college. And then I am hoping we can still have something once this is over and we can still be together for a ceremony later. It's important that you share that on that thought exchange. Also, we'll be talking more about um, some of the activities. Make sure that if we still need about 70 of you to fill out that Google survey with your mailing address and your shirt size. There's a reason for that. I can't tell you more. I just need for you to fill that out. Ms. Drian, Ms. Sung, and Ms. Gilbert are asking you to please fill that out today. We need those urgently, and we have a few other little surprises coming for you. And then we'll have more information about the refunds because we're trying to get those processed and get checks or requested. And then don't forget this week's virtual spirit week. Today, of course, I shared is DSUSD United and we want you to participate. And tomorrow is Tacky Tourist Day. So what can you do? Well, tomorrow for dress up, wear a tourist outfit, look like a tourist. And for the get down activity, it's research a place, write down or draw a place that you'd love to visit or create a postcard of a place that you have visited and would like to visit. And then for the reach out activity for an act of kindness, write a letter or an email or make a post to encourage people to visit that city when this all is over with and tourism can start back up, or write about what you miss about your city that where we live that you can't go out and do because of the shelter in place. And then last but not least, maybe order takeout from a small local business so that we help keep them going. That's one that my wife and I are doing as often as we can so that we help our local families. And then today I want to remind you also softball players. Wednesday during lunch pickup, at the, we want you to please bring your uniforms and any school-owned equipment to turn in. There will be a table on Raja Way at the very end where you can drop items off right at the very end before you leave the parking lot. Um, also, softball players, if you have not picked up your spirit packs, you can do that Wednesday at the same place, same time. So, Ms. Rodriguez says, thank you girls for that. And today our joke of the day is a salute to the Health Academy. So, for next year, if you want to share a little bit more about all the different groups, because not only do we have Health Academy, but we have the student group, HOSA, where you can participate in the Health Academy Club. What is Health Academy all about? Well, Health Academy is a unique program here at our school that trains students for future careers in wellness, medicine, nutrition. It's an opportunity for you to learn there. It's a three-year, actually a four-year program. You can still join if, if you're a freshman and you haven't. It doesn't have to be all four years. It's really a three-year program, and we added the fourth because we have some special opportunities for you to learn. Mr. Tate and Ms. Flores Arenas have worked really hard to provide a wonderful opportunity for you to learn all the skills to make you marketable for a future career in healthcare. So we want to be able to tell you a little bit more about that. 
You can find more on our webpage, all about the different classes that you take when you're in the Health Academy and what you learn. And you'll see every Monday at school during the year, each grade level has a different color of scrubs and they wear their scrubs. And then in their senior year, they get to volunteer in internships at places like the Living Desert and the Veterinary Clinic and the hospitals. Uh, we have some wonderful opportunities for students who want to go into a health career, whether it be a doctor, a nurse, a medical technician, an x-ray technician, a veterinarian, an eye doctor, um, a nurse uh, going into, we have some that go into health careers and nutrition careers, being physical therapists, sports medicine. So there's a lot of opportunities and we want you to participate and have the opportunity to learn. So what is our joke of the day? Well, our joke of the day is this one. What do you call a student who's studying to become an eye doctor? A pupil, of course. <laughs> and with that, I wish you a great Monday. I hope you have a great day today on A Day as we reconvene all of our distance learning classes and get back to the business of schoolwork and learning. I hope you had a great spring break, a great weekend. Look forward to hearing from so many of you. Have a great day today and I'll be on again tomorrow.